All right, good afternoon. I'm Sergeant Major Kinsley, Commandant of the Cadets here at the Marine Military Academy. I've been asked to give a few words about uh, our battalion commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Trevor Roberts. Uh, Roberts is a fourth year cadet here at the Marine Military Academy. He's done a great job up to this point. He was a battalion sergeant major last year. He's uh, an energetic young man who's been doing a lot of great things, and that's why he was my number one choice to be the battalion commander. He's doing a great job. He hopes to go to the Naval Academy, and I'm doing everything in my power to help him achieve that goal. So we look forward to him uh, completing the years of battalion commander at the level of uh, excellence that he's been doing it so far, and uh, wish him well in his future endeavors. Go uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's my honor to have uh, Lieutenant Colonel Robert here to do a little interview about his personal experience in, some, in MMA. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cadet Trevor Roberts. I'm from Fairbanks, Alaska. I have been at MMA for four years. I started as a summer camper and each summer camp after that I've worked as a cadet instructor. I am holding the rank of Lieutenant Cadet Lieutenant Colonel and the position of Battalion Commander. I've held the position of Squad Leader, Platoon Guide, Toon Sergeant and the Battalion Sergeant Major. So first I would like to ask how you turned from a summer camper to a battalion commander? Well thank you for having me first off and being a summer camper you're more of in a position to follow orders and follow a certain schedule so you never are able to decide what you do during that schedule or how to set up the schedule and moving up into positions and in ranks, you then are able to choose and maintain or make the schedule as also lead cadets and lead them to any where they have to go. Okay, I also believe you're going to learn many different things except for the military part in MMA. So do you think you can talk about that real quick? Oh yes. While in MMA, I have learned uh, time management because I have held many different positions, many different ranks and which, with each position I obtain, it gets more challenging because I have more jobs I have to take care of. I'm in more clubs as officers, as officer, and I have more, many jobs I have to take care of. And time management is a very crucial part to a cadet's life at MMA. Because like I said earlier, we have a certain schedule and there's only 24 hours in a day and we can't have like the 25th hour. We have to learn how to organize everything and get in the right position so we will benefit from it. Okay, so graduate from MMA is like a starting point of your life. So what is your plan after you graduate from MMA? Well, after MMA, my plan is to go to either Rice University with a NROTC scholarship or go to the Naval Academy. And once graduating from either college, I plan to commission in the Marine Corps as a second lieutenant, hopefully going into the infantry, spending about 20 to as many years as they need me. Okay, so Mr. Robert, who is the biggest role model in your life? Well, throughout my life I've had many people influence my decisions or influence who I am as a person, but I would have to say that I have two biggest role models, one being my father and one being my drum instructor here at Marine Military Academy, my be first on Felix Hernandez and my father what he did was he really structured me as a person because when I was younger everywhere he would go I was always right next to him and I'd always try to grow up to be just like him and base my decisions off the decisions he would make or whatever he told me I would always think back or reflect on it am I really doing what my father raised me to do or am I being what my father raised me to be like and with First Sergeant Hernandez, he really put me, he helped me get into my position I'm in right now. So he was really always there for me, always there to help me learn more leadership skills, always help me improve on my leadership skills. And as a sophomore, he put me in positions that a junior might, have, might need to be in or a senior might need to be in. So he was able to help me get noticed by the Commandant Cadets so that I can show or prove that I'm ready for the position I'm wanting to attain.